atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide. Scientists expect CO2 levels to continue to go up. To levels not seen for two to three million years. The last time there was this much CO2 in the atmosphere, there were alligators in the Arctic. Imagine taking one of the largest problems that's going to face our species in the next coming decade and completely reverse engineering it, reverse it backwards and suck it out of the environment. My name is Graciela Gijulniski. I am the CEO of Global Thermostat, a new company that started in 2010 that takes CO2 directly from the atmosphere and makes it into useful products while cleaning the atmosphere. So the companies come up with the idea to pull carbon out of the atmosphere to literally vacuum out and reverse the damage that we've already done. If you think of a dehumidifier, it takes the water molecules from air. Our product does the same. But instead of taking water, you're taking CO2. The easiest way of describing it is that it is a power plant that cleans the atmosphere. We call it carbon negative because you are decreasing the CO2 in the atmosphere, which acts as a blanket and doesn't let the heat go out. We are turning the bad into the good by creating a market for carbon. Make it useful. We take the CO2 and we make it into materials for plastics, for synthetic fuels, for beverages. As you drink, you will be cleaning the atmosphere. Same thing that when you eat a hamburger that has been frozen with dry ice, because CO2 is dry ice. They are taking one of the most ambitious approaches to handling reversal of climate change in the planet. I think that's going to be really important. It's very rare to be in a position from, from a scientific perspective that you can actually reverse damage. So this is a major change. Our technology is very, very, very low cost, and that's key. We don't use electricity, we use low temperature heat. We can produce CO2 in any amount, practically, wherever you need it. An example, companies that are using CO2, the CO2 has to be trapped. And in some parts of the US, it's brought through pipelines. So we can bring here one global thermostat plant, we can put it next to a bottler. So they will be using the CO2 from air. You don't need to transport it. You save a lot of money. At Global Thermostat, we are rewriting the future because we are changing the use of energy. And we can do it all while making profits, creating jobs. It's a win-win-win. And even though they're dealing with one isolated gas, which is CO2, the mentality and the thought process is going to have deep impact on all of the other breaches of the environment that we're dealing with and energy. That just speaks of a rewrite in and of itself.